Welcome back to The Forge. In this round of competition, you'll have to forge signature blades using a piece of 1084 steel. Your blade also must be made out of barbed wire. Good luck, bladesmiths. Your 10-minute design window starts now. I'm making sort of like a camp knife. I like a design that's easy to use and easy to modify. My design is a clip point hunter that will pierce, slice, and chop. My game plan is to do a Anglo-Saxon style sax. Broke back, it has a really nice point. Your design period is closed. Your three hour forge time starts now. My plan for the knife is to try to infuse the barbed wire toward the spine on the 1084 and not have so much along the cutting edge because I don't know how hard I can get that barbed wire. I'm gonna hammer the bar flat. I'm gonna take six inch strips of the barbed wire, hammer them flat, and then forge weld them into the metal. If the forge weld holds it, I'm gonna do it again and we'll see what happens. How crazy is this barbed wire? I love the way he says it. barbed wire, barbed wire. The hardest part about using barbed wire is it being small, trying to forge weld that to something thicker. My plan is to make two equal bundles of the barbed wire and squeeze them down to as small as I can get them. So I have two pieces to put on each side. I have a forge welded piece, but this blade right now is giving me some problems. I've got a blade that looks like this, and it's way too sharp of a curve. Oh, dang, Robbie's got a knife over there. Look at that. He is really moving along. I'm grinding the slag off the sides of the blade. They check my forge welds. It's a good, solid weld. I'm extremely excited. I'm going to rock this thing. I uh, have the blade in the size that I want. So I weld on the barbed wire. The rhythm of a good air hammer is hard for a bladesmith to resist. My blade is finally where I can accept it. And I don't want to waste any more time. I want to get this to heat treat. Josh is really being careful with this whole thermocycling. That's good. I pull out my blade on the final cycle, and I'm ready to quench. Pull it out. Initially, it's looking good. So I go, all right, let's cool it off a little bit more. At this point, I think I cool it off too much because it starts going Ooh. The blade just continues. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to see some frustration with Josh there. That's significant of a warp. It's hard to come back from. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get this warp out. And even though I'm running out of time, I make the decision. I'm going to quench again. I'm on, baby. Straight, hard, no cracks. The blade is born when it goes into the quench. And it's straight, and it's hard. It's straight, it's hard, it's a boy. This time, I'm going to heat treat my blade with a torch the way I do at home. Little happy dance and in the oil. Three, two, one. Bladesmith, shut down your machines, drop your tools. The forging time is over. Bladesmiths, this is the strength and durability test. I'll be taking your knives and chopping into this barbed wire twice. Robbie, are you ready? I'm ready. You better be. The knife is too. Good. We did get a little bit of edge damage. OK. I am surprised, though, that this handle didn't give me much more trouble than it did. It actually, this, it indexes well, even though it's square. Josh, you're next.
But Josh, it looks like your edge has no damage. So all that time you took in your heat treating and your thermal cycling paid off. Overall, well done. Thank you. Good job. Ray, I know you're ready. Always ready. Ray, I like the way your knife feels. Thank you. A little bit on the thick side, but it still has got the kind of edge that just gets into things. So overall, well done, Ray. Thank you, sir. For the sharpness test, I'll be turning you over to Doug. Hi, Doug. Bladesmiths, I'm going to take your weapon, and I'm going to see how well it stabs. I'm going to see how well it cuts on these Kevlar reinforced bags. Let's see if your weapons are for real. Robbie, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. OK, Robbie. Stabbing was good. Of three layers, you only cut through two. Overall, your blade is sharp to stab and cut. Yes. <laughs> good job. Thank you. Josh, you're up next. You ready? I I'm dying for this. OK, Josh, the edge you have over here is sharp enough. It lasts away to the first layer, but not into the second layer. Overall, it is sharp enough to puncture and lacerate. Good job. Thank you. Ray, are you ready? I'm always ready. Your edge over here lacerated to two layers, the outer layer and the first layer of the Kevlar enforced bag. So it's sharp. It will cut. Perfect. Bladesmiths, the judges have made a final decision, and it's time for one of you to leave the forge. Robbie, your blade did not make the cut. Robbie, this isn't about what your knife does to the test. It's about what the test does to your knife. Out of all three blades, your blade had the most edge damage, and that's why we have to send you home. OK. Robbie, please surrender your weapon. You know, I have no regrets. The last time I didn't get to finish the knife, I didn't get to see it tested. This time I did. I, I've accomplished what I come to do. Whew. You know, even though I didn't become the Forge Fire Champion, there's a lot of people behind me, and I can't do this, y'all.